growing up, there were, there were planes going overhead all the whole time, but it never occurred to me when I was three, four years old that they were actually anything other than just insects. They were just tiny little things that droned overhead. The ones the propellers made a low noise, the jets made a high noise. But then I saw those things up close and personal, um, and they were like any kid, dinosaurs are you know, they're loud, they're, 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 they're big, they're noisy. These jets look at, like all those things. And then it did the coolest thing. This one went thundering down a runway, popped a wheelie, and then came completely off the ground and went off into the sky. And like, man, that looks like fun. It was just one of the things where it was just, it was just a, like a fundamental urge, like being hungry or sleepy or anything like that, where you just, I just knew I had to go have something to do with things that flew. Sister Alice comes into the classroom one day, and I'm in arithmetic, and I was, I gotta tell you, I was not a fan of arithmetic. Um, stops the class and pulls out one of those old TV sets and says to us, um, you need to remember where you were today, where some history is about to be made, and it was the Apollo 7 launch, and I watched the rocket take off and go, and I go, what in the world was that? And she explained how we were gonna go to the moon. I was five and a half, and I knew a couple of things by that point. I knew that you couldn't get to the moon, it was all the way up in the sky, and this was crazy, but she told me to keep watching. Uh, but when we got there, um, about a year later, I was, I was hooked on that. Being here at St. Anthony, the, the general sense was that learn anything you can learn. Uh, that's one thing that you can take with you anywhere you go. It was to give you the foundation, also to give you a sense of optimism. You know, nobody looked at me and said, you can't go do that. And it was, okay, let's talk about how you're going to get there. Going into space gives you a profound change of perspective on things. Uh, you, uh, like when you spacewalk, I mean, literally the entire Earth is on one side of you and the entire universe is on the other side of you, you know, 13.5 billion light years out to its distant reaches, and it makes you feel very insignificant. Everything that you've experienced, everything that you care about, everyone who's important to you um, is on this, in that little sheath of air uh, you know, that's on this little dot in the middle of this big, vast universe. Uh, and it's very humbling to think about that. It's called the overview effect, where you, you're looking at that from quite literally a God's eye view of things. And you cannot unremember that. It's just there, you bring it back with you. Um, I would say people who have a strong belief and their strong faith tend to come back with their convictions just stronger. It's very encouraging to see St. Anthony's is still at it. And that was, that was literally a half a century ago I was sitting down in those first and second grade classrooms. And to think that they're still going strong, they're cranking up future explorers, future astronauts, uh, it's right even as we speak. And to come back and get to talk to those people. The people who are going to walk on Mars are in the halls of places like St. Anthony's right now going to school, uh, thinking about going to those places and trying to get those foundational skills to go do those things. We, NASA, and other places are not going to get there without them. So these people literally are the future. Um, and so we're just trying to arm them up so when the day comes, uh, we're just shouting to go get them.